they think about all day long is where can I find some food. Parents would do anything, go anywhere to feed their children, and I would too. You know, I've asked a lot of mothers, what do you do when you don't have anything at all to feed your children? And they'll tell me that they walk out in the yard, they look for weeds sticking up out of the ground, and they pick something green, they take it back to their mud hut, they put it in a pot of boiling water, add salt, and add those weeds. And that's what their children drink for that day. They call it soup blanche, or white soup. It has nothing in it whatsoever. So many little girls and little children which will steal your heart, they're praying for food. And without the food, they will starve to death. They will have malnutrition. It will affect their immune system. And slowly, they will die. And we see it happen every day here in Haiti. But with your gift and your help, it will save lives and make a difference here in Haiti. Every day that comes in, I mean desperate emergency requests, comes in every day here in Haiti wanting food and just praying for, to the Lord every day for food. God can need you to answer the prayer. Who don't have any food, they're waiting for food. Please help them today. Please let God use you. We love you. Right now we're stuck in the mud on the way to the food distribution. Um, it's starting in the rainy season. Robert's driving and just look at this. Just look at all this mud. This is this uh, ooey gooey mud. I've got stuck in it before and it's it's ahead of us. It doesn't look good. This is the bad mud. This is how difficult it is to get food to hungry villagers They're walking all the way from their village. I think we've been here about an hour waiting on them. As you can see, there's a long line of people winding back through the scrub bushes here in the in the desert area near Manamboje. We got stuck in the mud trying to get the truck that is full of food out here in the middle of nowhere. We've got another village distribution after this one. You know, missionaries on the field, we're a tough group of people. We want to make sure that this food gets to these hungry people.
All the village people are coming through the, the desert area of Madame Bogé, back through those bushes as far as you can see, with their food cars in their hands, and they don't care about how far they walk because hunger is a very serious problem here in the country of Haiti. Judy, nous allons faire distribution ici. Ici, nous allons marquer quatre là. Et là, nous prenons une boîte. Après ça, nous allons retourner. D'accord? Oui. Ok. À commencer. You know, of all the countries in the Western Hemisphere, Haiti has the highest rate of children who die under the age of five. And it has the highest rate of mothers who die in childbirth. In fact, that's how we started our Love a Child Orphanage, because mothers were dying in childbirth. And we were taking in babies under five that were near death. Hearing how they struggled to feed their children and the struggles of the people in the village when they, when they tell us that their children eat the same thing that the animals eat in order to feed their bellies or that they lost children because they couldn't feed them. You know, it hurts our heart. We know it hurts the heart of God. And I pray that your heart will be touched today with the cry of the poor. Sherry and I can't do everything, but we can do something. And with your help, we can make a difference. Love is not something that you just talk about, but love is something that you do. Faith is not just something that you talk about, but faith is something that you do. Right now, we're with a little Jessner family. And right here in my lap is little Jonas. His arms are so skinny, you see his ribs. This family has very little food to eat. The father, because the gardens are not growing here, the father, Mr. Jessner, goes all the way down to Port-au-Prince, which is from here about two days' journey. He does things like carry, carry buckets of water on his head. He pulls that uh, uh, buoy cart. He uh, works for people. Maybe he works in a garden. But he does the, the, the worst jobs that there are. While he's gone for a month at a time, mom has no money, she hires herself out, leaves the baby with the older girl, Jeanette, and she goes and works in a garden that is far, far away where there is water. Mm. Now that is beyond the next mountain range, Bobby. Oh, very far. I ask her, how much do you get oh. per day? In, in American money, it's about 70 cents a day. That's all she gets. She has to come back and try to figure out how she's going to feed seven children. I cannot imagine this. This is why Jonas is so tiny. And I can, when I put my hand on him right now, I can feel every single bone in his body. And the, all the little children are very malnourished. And Bobby, these children, if they're not in the family feeding program, what is going to happen to them? Uh, they, they will be malnourished and catch diseases and die. That's exactly right. These children are dear to our hearts. But we're praying that very soon, these children, and they will be, in our feeding program right here in Covant. God bless you. What about me? Does my life matter at all? When you think about the plans you made, am I in them or not? What could I be? Oh, should I even dream? I've heard that you are safe and good from people who believe that you
of me May God bless you here in the Ross Haiti. I want to give you a word for the mission field. All the little children here, they're getting ready to eat some of the food that we're passing out today. And there's such a joy. I want to share the word of God with you, some scriptures. Found in the book of Mark, the 10th chapter. I'm going to read verse 13 and 14. And they brought young children unto him, you know, which is Jesus. They brought young children to him that he should touch them. And the disciples rebuked those that brought them. The disciples didn't like it. They rebuked them. They said, don't bring the children. Don't bother Jesus. Don't, don't try to touch Jesus. The 14th verse. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased. And he said unto them, suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not to come, for such is the kingdom of God. But verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. A powerful scripture. The people was trying to bring the children in, the parents, and they're trying to just touch Jesus. Now if I could just touch him. But the disciples got upset. They said, no, get back. But Jesus saw the disciples trying to push everybody back, the children. Jesus says, uh-uh, he, he became displeased. He said, no, suffer not the little children to come to me. Let them come to me. But I want to show you something. For such, if you can't enter as a little child, you can enter into the kingdom of God. There are all these little children today they're precious in the eyes of Jesus. And we can't become as a little child and trust our Heavenly Father. We can't enter the kingdom of God. He's our Father. We trust Him just like a child. You may be old today, but you must become as a child before the feet of Jesus and trust Him as your Heavenly Father. But the day these children are going to receive a nice hot meal, big round pots of food that the food we're giving out today, you can see, you can see the food actually how it looks when it's cooked. It's delicious because love is not something you just talk about, but love is something that you do. Faith is not something you just talk about, but faith is something that you do. But may God bless you. All the way from Haiti and in the interior, where there's no electricity, no stores, no jobs, no money, no income. Here in La Roche, Haiti, but love makes a difference. May God bless you. Let's become a little child for the feet of Jesus. Bonsoir. 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 We love the little Haitian children, for such is the kingdom of God. This is full of rocks. This is called La Wash. And we're here with the food distribution. On, 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 on this side, Sherry, is La Wash. This side, this side Alaska, Alaska. Alaska. So two different villages are coming.
today. And you can see them on both sides here. And look how close they are together, Sure, Look how close they are. Look how close they are. Poor people, bless your heart. And they've been here a long time, Sherry. I'm so sorry for them. And Oh, Pastor yeah. Bernice, God bless you. This is Pastor Bernice. He's a pastor of both areas here, the Elastic oui. and the Lawash Church. Pastor Bon Travail, Mercy and Peel. Good move, Mimi Jay Z. How are you doing? Good job. Everybody loves the Lord out here. These are good Christian people. Amen. In the middle of voodoo territory, the light of Jesus is shining. You know, Bobby, it's so wonderful. We, you know, come out here and preach the gospel to them and yet feed the hungry and show them the love of God. And that's what it's all about. Yes. Let me just explain something to you, Sherry, if I can. Madame, excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Seafood play, madame. Each person has a love of child card. And the way it works is one person per family comes to pick up their food today, a box of food, which lasts them about a month. And if, if, if we didn't have one person come, the whole family would come. We have thousands here. We'll be very disorganized, but they bring their card. There. It's marked for each month on the back. They receive food every month on a consistent basis. With your help and your prayers makes a difference. And you are doing it, partnering with us, and I hope more will. We need you. Haiti needs you. The children need you. Look here, that damn Vinny. Who going to? <laughs> she is happy with her food. Yeah, oh, my damn well, Lou. Let me help her. Let me help. Here's Lou. Lou, it, it's her coming. Uh, uh, yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, my damn Tully, Tully, Tully. I just want to say this is Kuma Ureli. Kuma Ureli. Huh? Madame Denise. Madame Denise. She's a happy lady. She says she's very happy. But what, what we're doing is this is she's got her bags of food here. And inside these bags is a bag just like this. This is six meals inside. And inside is rice, actual, actual real rice inside, soy inside, onions, carrots, all the vitamins, minerals, everything you need for nutritionists. I got all, the, they've added vitamins and minerals. It's delicious food. I know it's Lou, <laughs> but I just want to say, just in a nutshell, 20, $24 will supply 648 meals. A gift of $120 will supply 3,240 meals. For a gift of $500 will supply 13,500 meals. For a gift of $1,000 will supply 27,000 meals. Please let God use you. Now, every penny counts. Eight dollars will supply 216 meals. All what you see right here, 216 meals for eight dollars. Okay, madam, we regret this, Lou. Okay, musty Sherry. Benny swallow the nail. Benny swallow. Amen. God bless you. Would you prayerfully consider partnering with Bobby and Sherry Burnett in the years ahead by remembering Love a Child in your will or estate planning? Making a will is an important yet often overlooked aspect of wise stewardship. By including Love a Child, you are investing in the lives, the health, the education, and the future of untold numbers of impoverished children here in Haiti. If you are planning on making a donation before the end of the year, perhaps you would consider donating stocks, bonds, real estate, or other assets of value to ensure that the outreaches of Love a Child continue uninterrupted. Please go to the website, call the number on your screen, or write to the address and let us know. Leave a legacy of hope and compassion by providing a better future for the children of Haiti. And remember, only what's done for Christ will last.
crowds got so desperate for food, they saw one bowl being passed outside, so they all rushed outside. Oh my God. So anyway, I saved two kids from being trampled on. I'm going to go out there and try to help them real okay. quick. If you could see me, this is real television. We're giving the food out to the children right now. And you see the food cooking, the pasta, what it looks like. And the day we, we put some noodles on top. Every time we feed people, we put noodles sometimes, other times, different things on top of the food. But it's a nice, boy, look at God. It's noodles, it's got rice. Beans, onions, carrots, all the minerals, all the vitamins. The children just line up. They're they're wanting this food. <laughs> I tell you, it touches my heart. This is how you can help. Twenty-four dollars to supply six hundred and forty-eight meals. Forget the twenty-four dollars, six hundred and forty-eight meals. For a gift of $120, we supply 3,240 meals. For a gift of $500, you can supply 13,500 meals. For a gift of $1,000, we'll supply 27,000 meals. For a gift of $10,000, will supply 270,000 meals. A whole container of food. But please help today. You can call the toll-free number and get one your credit card and speed the process up. Please call right now. You may give online by your computer. Or you may write a letter to our mailing address. And mail it in. So and what you do, we'll write you back a personal letter. We'll send you back a picture and a special thank you. You can save the picture, put it in the refrigerator, put the album. But let God use you. You lay your head down your pillow at night and you feel good. Sherry, I'm going to do all the talking, honey. Sherry's back here working. Wait, baby. Wait, baby. I'm sorry, honey. Let me, let me get Take this. Ali. I'm sorry. My addition of extra. Trying to get these kids away from a hot pot of charcoal. Here, baby. Take this. Ali, baby. Ali, baby. My God. This is simply, this is awful. You know, we just try to organize it in another way. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, every every handful of food, it's like food that your kids would throw away or turn their noses up at. Every handful of food is like gold. They are hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry enough to, to stay in line and fight like Quite like animals, they would say, to try to get a little tiny bowl of food. Kids need food on a consistent basis so they can sit down and eat it in a nice environment and not have to fight. I mean, it's, it's so dangerous. Even right here, a child can be trampled or fall into the charcoal fire. We need your help. We need your help, Dad. Can you do this on a consistent basis? So the kids know the food is coming. They don't have to fight for it. Please help us. Please pray about what God would have you to do. Thank you so much. Mette macaroni. I tell you, this is a hot, 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 hot meal. It's a hot meal. It's rice, carrots, onions. Soy. Each meal has enough of protein as a chicken breast. It's delicious food. It's delicious, a hot, whole meal. Very nourishing, all the vitamins, all the minerals they need. And as you can see, they love this food.
They call it Tifa Nu. Just a little for us. That word's all over Haiti. Tifa Nu. You know, with your help, we're able to tackle this problem of hunger in Haiti. Hungry children are hungry children, and Haiti is a country where hunger stalks children like a vulture. Thank you. God bless you for hearing the cry of the poor. It's not just a one-time deal. We do this every month here in La Wash and many other villages every month on a consistent basis. And other villages are waiting. We haven't came to. We're praying we have the funds to go to them. Okay, Sherry, you okay? Oh. That's the worst I've ever seen. The worst I've ever seen. Bobby and Sherry Burnett need your help immediately to continue feeding starving babies and children in Haiti. These precious children are impoverished. Most have malnutrition, many are abandoned, and all of them go to sleep hungry each night. They are waiting to receive food, and your gift is desperately needed now. Please go to loveachild.com, call the toll-free number, or write to the address on your screen and say, I want to help. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. In other words, God takes care of those who take care of the poor. On behalf of the starving children in Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you.